All right, guys, uh, welcome to the channel. I got uh, this homeboy here. We're going to go over some on-course uh, situational stuff because you got a good game. Thank you. So uh, let's do it. Okay, so, uh, Coach, if you want to see our nine-hole match, jump over to Golfholic's channel. Came down to the last hole. That's all I'm telling you. <laughs> <clears throat> it was a great match. Uh, this guy uh, hit some great shots. Definitely go check it out. Uh, it was a lot of fun, a, lot, a little bit of smack talking, and uh, somebody won a gold wedge. I don't know what that thing was called, but it was pretty sweet. It's a golden wedge. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Somebody won it. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, okay, we're going to jump on course. Coach has got some good short game, good game uh, stuff, and you play a lot of tournament competitive golf, so we need to see what he's doing because it's working. A little bit of tournament golf. Enough. Uh, I played in three three events this year, which was pretty fun. The SCGA, uh, the SCGA match play, and the Cal State uh, Open. Uh, I was able to qualify for two of them, which was pretty cool. Uh, got the competitive uh, juices flowing, and uh, it was just a great experience. A lot of fun. It's fun to compete, and uh, it was fun to come out of retirement too, which was nice. Love it. All right, let's jump on some stuff then. All right. Today's video is brought to you by Swing Caddy SC300 Portable Launch Monitor. Just set this behind your ball wherever you go, start swinging, and see stats such as carry, ball speed, swing speed, smash factor, launch angle, apex, and so much more. It is also super accurate with your driver. You can see how you hit every single shot in the bag. The Swing Caddy SC300. Be sure to check the link in the description below for a special discount just for you. Okay, uh, we have a nice, easy shot, right? No. 60 yards, uphill, pin, tight lie, got a lot of stuff happening. What, what do you do here? Um, you know, I just played a little bit back in my stance. I keep my hands in front and I just try and accelerate and clip the golf ball first and then the ground and uh, just try and keep my hands nice and low and around. Okay, is there anything that you're, let's say you're in a tournament, right? And you've got, you've had to make birdie in the situation to like qualify. So what, are there things you are like, I can't do this or that for sure? You know, it's, it's uphill, it's on a ridge. If you leave it in front of the ridge, it's gonna roll all the way back about 30 yards roughly. So miss is always a little bit long and towards the center of the green. Uh, I always try and miss on that uh, line and then, uh, you know, try and hold the putt. Love it. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, it's so pure. All right. Oh, well, you might have just made it. Did that go in? Uh, it's right in front. All right, he stiffed it to the couple inches. All right, so. Yeah, so I just uh, I kind of rounded out my swing a little bit right there, trapped it, kept it nice and low, controlled the spin uh, so that it didn't come all the way back, and uh, yeah, almost dunked it. Okay, the other option is for me, like, I might go with a pitching wedge and just kind of keep a rounded swing and go extra low, maybe just air long so nothing bad happens. If you're not comfortable with, let's say, like Mike likes a 60, which is great. But if you're not, then just go with a little extra, a lot extra, and it's like a super long pitch. Something like that. I like your, your way better though. <laughs> well, there's multiple ways to skin a cat. And uh, that's actually a really good play. Uh, you know, the 60 is not always the best option. Uh, pitching wedge is always a safe play too. So either, whatever you're comfortable with here, go with that. But you're a lot closer than I am. <laughs> so here's Mike. As you can see, he put it pretty close. It's a good way to save par yeah. <laughs> with a putter. You'd have made it. All right, so we're going to show you guys two different ways to play this shot also. I'm a big 60 degree wedge. Uh, anything around the greens, I believe in that Phil Mickelson philosophy of you know, 60 uh, degree wedge all around the greens uh, within about 85 yards and uh, just use one club, get comfortable with it. So that's what I do. Um, on this one, I just keep my hands forward. I hit down on it. Always try and miss a little bit long because it's still on the ridge. And uh, yeah, just get it close. Can you hold that one out? Almost. Great shot. Thank you. All right, so what I might do is do the 54 degree wedge here and get a little more rollout, uh, just so I don't have such a steep angle going into the ball. Yeah, check out our match on the Golfholics channel. He hit a great shot on number nine.
Okay, another good shot. So either way, you know, it all depends on what you're comfortable with. And I like to say like, also what your bounce is on your wedges. So whatever wedge I would say has more bounce, you would use here between your 60 and let's say your next wedge down. So this one for me has 10, I think my 60 has eight, whatever. So I use the more bounce for these shots. That's what I like. What does your bounce have? I think I'm six degrees. Six degrees? <laughs> I think so. Is that what it is? So he has no bounce, but oh, he's a good player. Don't get a <laughs> six degree bounce, 60, don't do that. Not unless you're a plus. I don't think I'm a plus, you're but. You're close. <laughs> Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Coach is a master at the low driver shot, right? Yeah, I don't know if it's a, a mastery, but uh, you know, I'm pretty good at keeping the ball flight down when I'm playing windy golf courses. We just got back from Bandon, and I think a lot of practice out there really helped. And uh, so now I just, I tee it up a little bit lower and I just hit that little driver stinger. Nice. And uh, it's a fairway finder if you need it. Okay, so we're out here at the 11th hole, Pelican Hill North course, and we're going back into the wind so what you know it's a good ch time to keep the driver really low yeah exactly so i just tee it down a little bit kind of keep my hands in front just like my chipping and uh, just uh just hit down on it you know and it, it sounds simple but if you tee it low it'll go a little bit lower okay. keep your hands in front that'll help uh, reduce the uh are you doing anything with the follow through or just whatever you know just whatever you're comfortable with okay you know it de-lofts de the you know the driver that you have it whether it's a nine or ten degree and uh it just helps me hands forward a little bit hands forward just a little bit okay we're just gonna go hands just forward just a little bit just a little mm -hmm. don't be a nutball and yeah. shove those things way forward you mean Ridiculous. Small okay. adjustments. Tiny. Okay, he's gonna do it, then I'm gonna try to do it. I'm not like a low driver hitter. Nice. All right, Tina, low. Hands, normally I put my hands here. I'm going right here. Hold off finish like Arnold. Huh? <laughs> All right, so we're going, look, here's my normal setup. And it just went right to here. And then I, you know, teed it a little bit lower. And now I, I hold off my finish. That's just me. But this slight setup, help keep it low into that wind. Okay, uh, so Mike and I are behind the green here and we're hitting a, uh, up to the flag and what we're gonna do is we got two options for you Mike's gonna go low with the 60 degree wedge and then I'm gonna shoot it up high uh, one is I would say he's gonna hit what I call your minivan shot <laughs> get everybody to the park safely and then I'm going Ferrari uh, you don't need it but it's cool right that's right but he's a tournament guy so <laughs> he's going minivan style yeah for this I'm just gonna try and hit uh, just a little one hopper stopper the um, the ball is on an uphill slope so I'm gonna try and put a, about 70% more on my left side uh, lean into it keep my hands nice and low and in front and uh, it should just land over the fringe one hopper stopper and uh, hopefully get up and down I'll go in oh nice as you can see, that low one's probably the way to go. <laughs> we'll go high. Oh, this is good. Yeah, there you go. Two ways to do that right there. I like that little flop. It's just a little more risky and it's tough to control the distance also. Yeah, as you can see, it's hard to get accuracy and consistency with the high one. I would only do that if like I had to uh, I didn't have to there. As you can see, I got eight feet for par. Mike's got uh, three feet kicking. Mm. Mm. Okay, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna play out of the bunker, long, a little bit longer bunker shot. Coach is going with the what? I'm going 60 degree. I'm gonna try and fly it as far as I can, uh, a little bit into the wind. Uh, it's kind of like a you know 25 to 30 yard shot. And I know it's not going to roll out much unless I chunk and run it, which is probably not a bad play here just to 
for safe reasons. Um, but I'm gonna try and take a full swing and uh, get it close. Okay, so he's going uh, all the way with the 60. And then what I'll do is I'll go 54 degree and I will play the chunk and run two options. Like he's gonna clip it and I'm gonna chunk it behind the ball. But you gotta use more club for that. Let's see what happens. Oh, pure. Pretty good. Really good. All right, I'm going, uh, I'm doing more of a chunker shot. Mm. Oh, rolled right past it. Good shot, good effort. So those are, those are your two options out of here. You can go more club and hit a little bit more behind the ball, but the ball does go a little farther or you can pick it clean like coach just did and hit a nice high soft spinner. It's up to you. All right, we're gonna do a little downhiller at the hole. Um, I'm still gonna stick with my 54 and kind of roll it there and you got the 60. I got the 60. So uh, I'm Love just gonna it. keep my hands forward, try and land it on with some spin and uh, you know, let it kind of run out at the end. Okay, and I'm going extra safe, chunking, kind of bump it down there. Uh, whatever you feel comfortable with, but you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat, like you said. That's right. <laughs> I want to see. I think Coach has hit it closer to the hole than me on every one of these so far. So we'll see if we can keep the streak alive, Coach. I think I liked yours a little bit better. Maybe a little, but again, you gotta be safe on this. This is not go for it land. This is, hey, get it on the green, take your medicine. You're, you're long, you're downhill at the hole. You gotta take your medicine and try to make a putt. So mentally think like, hey, I, oh, I gotta get it close. No, no, no. You gotta think mentally, hey, I need to make a long putt to say par. And so have that mindset instead of putting all the pressure on this shot now, put the pressure on the next shot, like your putter. And I think, you know, hitting a little bit past the pin is always good so that you can have an uphill or coming back. For sure. This time we're going over, you're forced, you're forced to play a shot. So we're going to go over the bunker here on to the green. It ain't pretty, but uh, you got to do it. What do you got coach? I'm going with 60 again. This time I am going to try and flop it and uh, just land it on the green. I know it's going to run out because the greens are firm. Okay. Love it. Love it. Low little spinner. Pretty good. Okay, the key here is accelerate through the shot, no matter what you do. Nice high cut shot. Yeah, really well done right there. That's how you do it. Okay, Mike, we are going out of this tall fescue. I mean, I might get lost in here. Yeah. Uh, and we just gotta get up there to the green. What do you like? You know, um, 60 degree for me, you know, I think that's just my club. Uh, I just swing probably an extra 20 or 25% harder in the fescue because I know it's going to grab and uh, I don't try and get too cute with it or get it even close to the pin. I just want to get it on the green and try and make a par or a, you know, a bogey. Yeah. Take your medicine here. What I like, this is one of the few scenarios where I will put my hands a bit forward mm -hmm. and I will shut the face down and more do a, a do do a little more chopping motion for me. Okay. And then uh, sometimes I play it like a bunker. It just depends on the lie and how deep it is. Um, so you know, just assess your lie and uh, you know either hit down on it like like uh, Matt does, or uh, maybe even like a little bunker shot. All right. Let's see what you got. Oh, really nice. That's pretty good. You're on, you're putting. You know, you can't ask for too much more than yeah, that. I hacked at it a little bit. Probably could have gone a little harder. Um, you know, didn't hit great, but it's it's on. All right, so like this ball. So I'm shutting the face down a bit and I'm just here. And I'll loosen up my grip even so that club might open up as it goes through. If you come down like this, that club will actually rotate open. Great shot. All right, I think I like his a little bit better. That was the play and uh, really well done. 
So, so yeah, like a, one of the things, you know, I'll do a whole video on that, but if you turn that, if you shut that face and you're chopping straight up and down like this and you super light grip in both hands, that club will hit, it'll hit and it'll actually rotate open. And so it, sometimes it works out. So give that, you gotta practice that one so you know the feeling. But once you do, then, you know, you can have, it can help you out sometimes. Yeah, hit that thumbs up for Mr. Short Game. Great shot right there. And uh, it's been a pleasure coming out here with you. All right, last shot here from Tournament Man himself. <laughs> uh, and we've got this super downhill lie, bump and run style to this green right here. With a ridge that's fading away. Oh, well, I didn't even see that. So we've got a little ridge in the green. We can use that to our advantage. What's your shot? Uh, once again, I, I just try and keep it nice and low, land it on the green, ha hit it with some spin on it, and then uh, I know it's always going to run out, but I know it's going to hit that one check and then kind of just ha baby roll out for me. So I'm going to land it probably on the ridge, one hopper, hit with some spin, and then uh, just try and you know, get it anywhere uh, close to the pin. Okay, and what I'm going to do here, personally, I'm going to take the 60, but I'm going to try to play a cut shot in there. Okay. So I got side spin because I want to use that ridge and the break of the green. Um, and I don't think it's really going to get me in trouble if I mess up on that one. I think that's the right play. Okay. So don't be afraid to play even a little cut shot, even this little pitch. So we'll see what happens though. Great shot. Hold on, it's tight. Just rolled out a little bit, but really good. Nice. Yeah, I uh, clipped it really well, landed kind of firm, and uh, just ran out for me. Didn't have enough uh, spin on it and bite that I really needed, but uh, overall, I'll take that. Okay, so here I'm just, you know, a little outside in swing. Go a little higher with that cut, cut spin on it, and it'll work. Yeah, I think that's the right play for this type of shot. And I'm like Jason Day style, I'm not too wristy. Just kind of Day Stricker's cut motion. Yeah, I like Stricker's movement. Really good. Well played. Not yeah, bad. Nice work. What I like about doing that is I can go after the ball a lot harder. So even though it's a touch and feel shot, I'm not like going to decelerate on it because I'm I'm thinking spin, spin, spin. So it just helps you accelerate through the shot a little better. Yep. All right, coach. Thanks for uh, hanging out and uh, showing us some stuff out here in the short game world. Yep. Appreciate it. Yeah. Big thanks to Matt for having me out. Really appreciate it. And uh, appreciate you uh, playing with me today, too. Yeah, I bet you do. Anyways, uh, check out that video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Golf Holics. I'll leave a link uh, right here. And Coach, great player, great dude. We do a lot more content together. Love you guys. See you in the next video. All right, I think I got you on one hole. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. Yeah, the greens are firming up a little bit. Can you make that? Make it in. Make mine. Give me a second chance. Go ahead. Uh, good one. <laughs>